Anonymous Watch Guy here with an unboxing video. Quick wrist check. Wearing the Tissot Heritage 1938 beautiful salmon dial. Full review on that one coming very soon. But today I have a hot new release from Hamilton. Really excited about this one. Don't have a Hamilton currently in the collection until I purchased this one because I sold the two Hamilton I did own. Uh, I think this is a really awesome release from Hamilton. I did open it up. I've got the hang tag here. $9.95 is the retail on this one. In this configuration, there's the reference number. Of course, this is one of the new Khaki Field Expedition watches. Uh, and I'm really excited about this one. Under here, of course, you've got your warranty card and your uh, booklets and everything. Your standard kind of faux wood Hamilton box. Uh, Hamilton does a decent job with presentation. Inside, you've got your branding again. And then, of course, we got the watch. I opted for the 41 millimeter version just because I do have a little bit larger wrist. I think the 41 is going to work better for me. It also does come in a 37 millimeter version. It comes in three different dial colors as well. Black, blue, and as you can see, I opted for the white. I really like a nice, clean white dial. And I think this one just looks really good. It's so legible. Uh, just a really good looking white dial by Hamilton on this one. Again, like I said, this is the 41 millimeter. It's 41 millimeters, 20 millimeter lug opening. It's 48 millimeters lug to lug. So you've got a very wearable dimension even on this larger watch. Signed screw down crown there with the H Hamilton logo. Uh, it does give you 100 meters water resistance. Screw down crown this, thankfully. Uh, that was something that the khaki field line was missing. Uh, it was a screw down crown. Glad to see it on this one. You do have a sapphire crystal that does have inner anti-reflective treatment. Uh, and it is 11.5 millimeters thick. So very wearable, uh, relatively thin, uh, really nice looking watch. And of course it is running the Hamilton H10 movement, which is essentially the Powermatic 80 Get your 80 hours power reserve, your Nivacron balance spring for your anti-magnetic purposes. No drilled lugs, no quick release spring bars. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, this compass bezel does turn bi-directionally uh, and it is a functioning compass. When we took out the full review of this watch, we will talk about how to use the compass uh, feature but just a really nice looking watch. Definitely a fan. I think this is a great release for Hamilton. I really like what they did with this watch. Uh, just really, really good looking watch. Uh, initially, I don't know that I love the strap Hamilton. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of their leather straps, but we'll see uh, what I think about that by the time the full review comes around. These are also available on bracelet. Uh, let's check it out on my seven and a half inch wrist and we'll wrap up this unboxing video. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it wears very nicely. There's your down the barrel shot. Plenty of space for me. Again, sub 50 millimeters lug to lug. So this one, even the larger 41 millimeter version here is going to work for a lot of wrists. Really like the look of this watch, like that compass bezel. Uh, I just think it's cool. I think it looks good. Uh, I think this is a great release for Hamilton. The Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition. Stay tuned for a full review on this one coming soon. If you liked the video, give me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.